Goodyear presenting tonight's aerial coverage of the Olympic City 1996 Atlanta. Ohio State defeats Georgetown 67-60. And vice versa early on in this ballgame. Who gets the upper hand? Now Florida gets the first upper hand as Noah taps it over to Green. And they go to Horford. Mata defending a quick double team. That defense on UCLA is so quick. And trying to get a hand on it and a steal, just like what they did against Kansas all game long. Up ahead to Ship. And Ship, much better than Bozeman last year to be a scoring threat for UCLA. Collison had a look at a three. Now up ahead, it's Brewer slashing and drawing the foul and almost getting the roll. Brewer, a Flavo matchup last year that really kind of footed with that long wingspan. And fellas that play on the floor to have to get back a little faster than they want to. Laying off a Mute. Baseline pass to Mata, and the Bruins are on the board. Nothing there. Back out with 12 on the shot clock. And now, well, every college basketball team needs a guard that can penetrate on his own. Gives it up, and Keith takes it. On rebounds to start the break. This is their 10th trip, if you will, down the floor, and Green puts it up, and finally, they hit a shot from the field. To go inside and then kick out when the double team comes. Excellent defense by UCLA so far. Mata trying to find a way to squeeze something out of it against Horford, but no. Great drive, and Noah has a block. Saw a lot of that last year in this matchup. He had six last year in the championship game, as we pointed out. Uh-oh, Flavo, nice is that gonna be? Cal beating UCLA the first round of the Pac-10 tournament. On the offensive end, Probably had him reaching on the defensive end. Where are the points going to come from for UCLA? Ship? Well, we haven't seen it so far. And he'll have Brewer on him the rest of the way. And there's Brewer slicing through the lane. That's how he is. Why he is so tough. He's missed its last four. Westbrook just into the game. Has it taken away by Noah. Why Noah he... unable to get the handle. And Collison, <laughs> how did he save that one? How did he run it down? Noah should have just got possession of the ball. Splits the defenders. They had the numbers for a moment. Now Ship, here he is, leaning in and banking it in. Nice job, powering Brewer. I believe a freshman from Clark Kellogg's High School, so Clark's got to be pretty proud of that one. Down low they go, Richard dunks it. Noah, the guy that should look for the jump shot. UCLA's had to go nine players deep already in this game. Here's Ship. Pretty nice fake. Good job. That's a two. You've got Ship down there on Noah. Noah with a lot of size on him. Let's see if they get the ball to Noah down inside. And there's going to be a hold call. Right here, so he's used to playing in this arena. Gators like playing in this. That Ben Holland would like to have off the bench on the floor. They need to try to survive. How about Horford out here on Ship? Now he switches over to Collison. That's worse. Collison steps by him. Gives it up to a boy up. That not getting the ball to Noah down low, taking advantage of that size matchup with Ship. Keep trying to defend on Horford. It's a size edge there for the Gator. And a foul first on Keith. Not one single offensive rebound in this game up to this point. Either side. And either side. It's amazing. And that's because both teams are well coached and blocking out. Both teams shooting 33% from the field. Here's that 2-3 zone by Florida. They come out of timeouts often in that 2-3 zone and drop back to man-to-man -man the next possession. Ship got Brewer to commit, steps up, and hits great. another jumper. He's got great anticipation, plus his great quickness. Keith doing a nice job out there, Jim. Really Kelly. hustling defensively. Really hustling. Five on the shot clock. Brewer knows it. Puts it up. Huge. First team. All-conference defensive player of the year in the SEC. Thompson. Over to ship. He's open for a moment. Goes the other side, and he's now, Billy has said, he's got to be the one. And is the one, Jim. He did that with a nice hesitation dribble. Horford thought he was going to shoot the ball on our side of the basket. Took it underneath. Good job. You notice how Green has not been able to break Collison down at all. Again, it's Brewer. 
And again, it's Brewer coming up big. Jim, what's happening right now? No screen for Collett. Here he comes. This is where you want the ball. He is so quick. Over Humphrey. Good and idea. Noah sweeps it away for the rebound. Up to Green. Here come the Gators running at the best. Humphrey puts it up for a three. Freshman <laughs> player. It's really been hampered with big problems this year. And obviously not the same guy. Ship missing that time. And the defender rolls. Slipped and Green hits the line. Has not even attempted a shot from the field. They've got a double-digit lead. And the ship working his way in right into the, into the basket. It has no chance to hit in the rim and staying up there. It'll, it'll rotate right on out. There's kicking the ball again. Up ahead to ship. Horford's going in, but ship says no way. This one we're putting away. That was a sensational pass by Collison. Rather than trying to hit the man on the run, he threw it up in the air so his teammate could run under it. UCLA hanging in here. It's amazing. Little spark for the Bruins. Brewer. He's, Boy, he knows how to break their heart, doesn't he? He sure does. And when you see that ball being rotated out, you cleaner here on the rebound and defensive end, getting them all. Hodge. Noah. Noah pushed before he got that ball. Stellar at the line. No, 57% shooter. But he hits that one. Nice follow through. One ball. The follow had a ball, and he said, put the ball down. Yes. Yeah, boy, do you remember that? Only <laughs> yeah. one ball. One ball. And you concentrate. That's right. And if he sees even just a momentary lapse in that focus and concentration, you're called out on it. Yep. And there was no question either. The follow got rid of that ball. There's that kick out. They're not getting the ball to Humphrey on the kickouts, though. Dan Warner, you saw him touch it, number 21, in for the Gators. Here he is. Oh, first on the line, though, traveling. So, again, those points, Collison's going to have to pick up his offense a little bit to help ship out. Brewer giving it up to Noah. Noah's shot. That was blocked by Mata from the other side. That was the first attempt of the game from the field by Noah. Down low, Mata this time at the other. Gets the block, then gets the basket. And, Jim, Noah loafed going down floor. Mata beat him with the block, and then Mata hustled down court. Noah loafed. It cost him. All four tournament games coming in here for the Bruins. They have come out of the locker room for the second half with a run. Huge. Box. Humphrey. You see what's what's going on. Billy Dunham had a terrific strategy on his part. If UCLA wants to double down on the big men, that ball is coming out immediately cross court to the jump shooters. Roll. He's a shooter too, and he bangs home a three. And Collison with good eyes throws cross court in a different way. Same philosophy. Guard that time cross court as opposed to big man cross court. That was the first three of the game for the Bruins. They were 0 for 8 in the first half. Double up on Horford. Leaves Humphrey open. Look out. Here he goes. Bob Mute limited in the first half with two fouls. Oh, Mata almost pulled it off. Nice idea in his part. He used the rim to keep Horford away from the easy block. Bad shot by Green. Good pass, though. Oh, has a shot. Face of Horford. Humphrey has the win, but not shot in the follow-up. There is Noah. <laughs> Noah wanting that ball down inside. There's Brewer left open. It's another one. So we're talking about Collison and Aflalo. Two guys that average almost 30 points a game, and now Brewer turns. Not call another timeout. Aflalo with four fouls on him. Brewer guarding him. Where do the points come from? Collison. Follow up Mba Mute. They had been scoreless five minutes until that follow up. Slam. Humphrey with a three. He's got the all time record for threes in NCAA tournament play. Uh, Jim, because of that power inside that Florida has, you got to kind of slough off a little bit as a guard, but then those kickouts to Green or to Humphrey and tonight to Brewer just are tough to handle. Bob Mute with a layup. The three. Pass the managers and yep. everyone. Humphrey and one. I have not 
talked about it to anyone. I haven't dealt with it. I'm not thinking about it. I'm here to win a championship. The non-issue to him yesterday. Ship draws the foul. Hal and said, obviously, we can never see another game like that from him. And it take over offensively. He did 14 of the first half 20. Over offensively. He did 14 of the first half 23. And his first points of the second half, he's immediately replaced by Westbrook. Needs a breather. Well, the biggest blown lead of the whole season, a game they led and then went on to lose for Florida, was a five-point lead against Vanderbilt. And Horford with a Richard follow-up. Back to 17. Bounce pass underneath. Collison hits from the field. Shutting it down, you're right. Ball on the floor. Boya trying to get it away from Richard, who takes off baseline, and it circles in. And you know he could start for so many teams. Oh, tonight. Go for four. Chip fade away. Fifty-four thirty-eight with eight and a half to go. And a steal forced by a boy. Oh, and look at Collison explode. Right by Green. And after the brief timeout, the Gators get another little burst. As Horford follows it up. Jim, if that will ever be. Uh, that's that's a tough one. I mean, that's, that's a, a tough, tough one. Ever, yes, it is. Ever match. That's four on Horford. Understand Tressel, Coach Tressel, Coach Meyer, Urban Meyer. Turnover, they, I thought it might have been off should have, That should have been backcourt. No question that should have been backcourt. Hit off Green's foot. He's having a... Interesting, as you get a player like Green and you're used to breaking your man down off the dribble. Decisions out there. I'm sure Billy Donovan will talk to him about it. For Green. Here's a follow. Is this the time? Yes, a three. Guys, even though this game is out of hand, he is still playing and talking green. It's Noah driving in on a boy. Followed up again by Richard. In the first round game against Jackson State, a career high. Mata, good fame. How about that? Well, with his own frustration with that dunk. There's no for the boy trying to defend. It's Richard with another tip in. Mata didn't even know he was there that time. Richard putting on a show right now. Matched up with Collison, who can take him off the dribble. Nice job. Three pointer. Well, give UCLA credit in this respect. They have never stopped playing hard nosed defense. No and he's going to the line for a three-point opportunity. 29 rebounds in the six games, six blocks in the terror in this game. Got 10 rebounds, eight points. Hodge dishing Richard. What a present lead to kind of shore up what Chip did in that first half. UCLA just didn't have the scoring punch. Liz Humphrey is a good defender, as we said, against the dribble. Flop. The last eight minutes or so had his way in the paint. He's one more hoop, he'll have a career high. So on Richard. That's Horford, though. Practiced this season at home because his team just caved in. He said, we weren't mentally ready for it. We were, at that point, still so young. Horford back out the green. Flat-footed three. Rebound Keith. And they would put the 40-40 score up on the scoreboard at practice at home. Just as a reminder about what happened there in Gainesville. And Aflalo now has 13 points. He cut it down to 10 with inside two to play. A little quick steal here, and it could get interesting. In a row. Well, let's get into the... And it was one in five with no Final Fours. Then he gets up to the Final Four in 1962. His win streak in NCAA tournament, 38 games. So we talking about some kind of record that will never be broken or not. This year, and made a fine contribution. Horford at the line for two. Exception of Noah's performance. Westbrook driving in, oh, laying nice it in. nice job. Yep. Oh, thinking long. Four players for the Gators in double figures. Ben Holland saying no foul. Let this game finish up. Well, Collison almost able to get the steal. But that's going to do it. We're going to have this uh, Florida team looking for more history on Monday night. The Gators kicking in that extra gear.
in the second half. 